While Amazon's Fallout has already proven to be one of the best video game adaptations ever, fans have been quick to call out a continuity discrepancy. Was it a simple mistake? Or is it all part of the showrunner's plans? A big reason for the show's success is that it's not a flat-out adaptation like, say, The Last of Us. Instead, Fallout tells an entirely original story with brand new characters. Of course, there is some overlap, from slightly similar plots to cheeky references and returning characters in the games. Otherwise, though, it feels like a totally fresh experience that has something to offer fans and newcomers alike. This allows the TV show to tell a good and thrilling story without the restraints of the canon established by the games. This is how we get the entire pre-war storyline that gives us an origin story for Vault Boy, and a finale that shows the true evils of Vault Tech in a way that not even the games fully explore. That is how we will win the great game of capitalism, not by outfighting anyone, but by outliving them. It's also how the show, which is set a decade after the events of the games, can bring in elements from any of them whenever it makes for a good story, rather than because it's required. For example, the show presents Shady Sands and the New California Republic in ways much different than what gamers remember. Shady Sands in particular caused a bit of controversy among some fans, who were left confused about the timeline of events and whether the show retconned the events of Fallout New Vegas. When asked by fans whether the popular game remains canon or not, Emil Pagliarulo, lead designer and writer of Fallout 3 and 4, tweeted, Of course it is. We've never suggested otherwise. In one of the episodes, we visit Vault 4, which hosts a whole bunch of mutants and survivors of a tragedy. We learn that a lot of them come from the city of Shady Sands, the bustling capital of the New California Republic, introduced back in the first Fallout game. This is where Maximus was raised, and where Lucy lived for a while. The city fell when a vault tech employee, seeing the threat of a flourishing city on the surface not led by vault tech detonated a nuke that obliterated the entire Shady Sands. The problem seems to stem from a single shot of a chalkboard in Vault 4 that teaches the history of the New California Republic. The chalkboard puts the fall of Shady Sands as happening in 2277, followed by a drawing of a nuke exploding. Fans believe this overlaps with the games, as Fallout New Vegas is supposed to take place in 2281. In the game, Shady Sands is a vibrant and very much intact town. This led some Fallout fans to claim that the New Vegas storyline was being retconned out of Fallout lore altogether. What a disgusting idea! <laughs> Given that New Vegas is the one main game in the franchise not produced by Bethesda Game Studios, who helped produce the show, it's reasonable to think they might want to erase the game from the new canon. However, as Emil Pagliarulo said, the game is very much still canon. So what happened to Shady Sands? Well, the date could simply be a mistake on the part of the Fallout TV show, or perhaps it's a clever hint that Season 2 will show us more of the decline of Shady Sands. The real question is, does this matter? After all, it's quite unlikely that this is an actual retcon, as the show could simply fix the date in the next season if it truly conflicts with the events of Fallout New Vegas. Given that the season ends with a tease of the city of New Vegas, that's likely where we're heading. So Shady Sands is probably going to play a bigger role. That's because in the games, Shady Sands was an important city in the capital of the New California Republic, which was at war with the city of New Vegas. In 2274, both parties signed a treaty that would provide electricity to the NCR while recognizing the sovereignty of New Vegas, while the former secretly tried to absorb the latter. In Fallout New Vegas, the player can decide who to support and play an integral role in the future of the titular city and the NCR. Given that Fallout Season 1 shows the New California Republic as being in shambles and Shady Sands destroyed, it's possible that we'll get a definitive canonical answer as to the ending of New Vegas and the fate of the titular city. In that case, the fall of Shady Sands may not be a specific moment, but a slow decline, possibly due to the conflict with New Vegas and the Caesar's Legion faction. It's hard to say at this time, but it's very possible that the timeline controversy may not be a retcon or even a mistake but rather an opportunity for new and thrilling stories. Either way, it goes without saying that we're looking forward to Season 2.